Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Matt, and I know what you're thinking. Why, if I could choose any dream in the world, would I want to sit with a psychologist? There is such an unfair stigma attached to any kind of mental health issue. Some people find themselves embarrassed or unsure about what to expect in an inkblot session, for example. So here, in a safe and relaxing environment, I will be presenting you with ten plates of individual images. And together, we will study how your brain responds to each of these stimuli. And over almost a hundred years of research, we can understand patterns in the brain's mental makeup, all the experiences that you've been through to this point in your life, means that when your brain sees a certain image, it conjures a certain connotation. And together, like I said, we will explore what these connotations are and what they might mean, and how you can use them, find them insightful, and address maybe some issues that you are even unaware of, maybe social anxiety, maybe an issue with a sibling, or even one of your parents. Something that we take mental health very seriously here. And in a dream environment, there's absolutely no judgment, nothing to worry about, just a friendly conversation, but some interesting images. I hope whatever you choose today, you have the most restful and blissful sleep you've ever had. Hello there. Don't be frightened. Take a big breath. That's right. You can breathe underwater. It's not so scary down here. I will be your guide as I show you through my mermaid town, my home, and meet all my friends. I promise you'll have a fantastic time. The water is very warm. I promise that's natural. We're not so deep. I can see the sun poking through the surface. Oh no, the sun's rays won't bother you down here. It's very comfortable, very peaceful. Just the sound of the waves above you and the plant life around you. I don't have nightmares about you tonight. <laughs> Good night.
Hello. It's good to have you back. You were asleep for quite a while. The humans, they do not have a long lifespan like us. So, they occupy the chambers while we take care of them and ensure that they have a peaceful, peaceful, peaceful slumber and a very pleasant awakening. <laughs> Where are we? Why, we are in the vacuum of space, approximately seven light years from your home. Everything is so peaceful and serene, and despite the artificial gravity, I feel as light, light as a feather, as you would say. <laughs> we are encompassed by a sea of stars as our ship makes its way to its destination. Everything has been calm and peaceful and there have been zero complications. <laughs> what complications would there be? Well, there would be none as our very, very precious shipload has been well taken care of since the humans went to sleep. You should know this already, as we were all informed of the details of this mission. May I ask, do you know where we are? Hmm. Do you know what the mission is? Do you know who you are? Mm. I see. We have a slight... We have a slight case of... Amnesia. But, not to worry, as... This often happens to humans after... A cryogenic slumber. Luckily... We have a remedy for it that requires nothing but an open mind and an awareness of your senses. Yes. There is a set of sensory stimulators that we have found help Induce memory recollection. Yes. So, I will perform a number of these sensory triggers, as we like to call them. And hopefully, you will regain your memory piece by piece until it is completely back. back. And of course, after each trigger, I will document your progress on memory recollection. Again, all I ask of you is for you to give me your open mind and to turn your senses over to me. And I promise they will be in good hands. So, are you ready? Good. Then let's begin. Love is 
the strongest powers in the world. And I want you to feel that feeling. So in this dream, you'll feel all of the feelings that it feels like to be in love. It is a euphoric state where you can't get that person off of your mind, where you feel them in your heart, when you feel them in your brain, you feel them everywhere. When your day-to-day -day life changes because you can't stop thinking about that person, you can't stop thinking about how to make them happy, how to make them smile, you can't stop thinking about kissing them. I'm sure you've seen it in movies where two people fall in love and you think, oh, that would be so great. This is your opportunity. It's almost like you're floating when you can't get them out of your mind, when you would do anything for them for them to be happy. If you choose this dream, you'll feel the feeling that most people in the world search their whole lives to find. So sit back, close your eyes, and enjoy the feeling of true love. Have you been to this land before? That's okay. This is the land of Marina. The only place where humans, other creatures, and mermaids and mermen live together as one in perfect harmony. Now you look a little tired, that's okay. I imagine you've travelled far, mm. and you just want to relax, mm. and many come to see me to help with their sleep, yes, I can definitely help to relax you. Of course. Now, with my name being Melody, you may guess that part of my relaxing technique is to gently hum and softly sing. And so many have told me how they found it relaxing, which makes me so happy, as all I want to do is to help to relax you. Now I do have some other methods which I will show you now. So, when we get visitors, we notice that their skin adjusting to this land may be a little dry. And so, I love to use the exfoliating salts of Marina. And these are dug up from the depths of the sea. And they are so fine, the grains, that they just almost glide over the skin. Just washing away any dead skin rejuvenating it. So let me show you some of it. I keep it in this little jar and it smells so, so wonderful. And I'd like to use this on you to just exfoliate just the tops of your shoulders there, just gently, and you'll feel so, so relaxed. Now I do also have a couple of other things. Some people find it 
so relaxing to have the hairbrush and this brush was given to me by the Queen of Marina when I used to look after her before I started to work in my family jewellery shop and this brush will just glide through your hair and make you feel so calm and wonderful and lastly I have this brush which was left by some humans on the beach we couldn't find it to return them so instead we kept it and decided to use it to help others to relax so we'll simply do some face brushing and we'll also brush any of that salt off of your skin so, I'm so excited to help you to relax and I'm so grateful that you've decided to join me in Marina. Let's begin the relaxation. Hello Clarice, welcome. We definitely want to get to the bottom of the problem. Oh, Clarice, that's right, be, oh yeah, that's right, squirm around, squirm around, it will avail thee nothing, mm. the sweet breads of the human flesh are always worth digging for, what a treasure. <laughs> I don't know if you can stand that which I have to offer you, immortality. worth 
savoring, fresh, luscious, so adorable. Mm. I wish I could explain to you more fluidly how I seek out my victims, but it's all about the yum mortality of the moment. Oh yes, ancient tribes would consume their foes, and in doing so, their shrunken bodies becoming part of their chemical makeup, joining them forever in the afterlife. So now you understand, don't you? Don't you understand now? To welcome you to the rest of your life. <laughs> welcome, Clarice.
I'm glad you're here with me to see this. It's just so magical. Like, I never thought that one day I would actually get to see that. It's like, what? Listen to what? Really? Oh my god, you're right. If I talk louder, then someone's gonna hear me. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like I'm gonna disturb the world somehow. Let's just stay here forever. What do you say? I could just not worry about anything else and just... I mean, like, the world doesn't need us, does it? <laughs> we could just buy a cabin. Cabin? Do you say cabin or a cabin? And we could just stay there and find some wolves and <laughs> live with them, I guess. And just stay here in peace sometimes I feel like just by looking at the stars and like the the mountains I feel like we're so tiny and like the universe doesn't belong to us you know what I mean you know what I mean like we belong to the universe so nice. At the same time, it's so scary to think that we're just passing through this life. It's incredible. Uh, I wish I could stay here longer. You do? I mean, we, we have no rush. But I guess we can stay here a little bit more, no? I like it here. It's so rare when we have a moment of silence. It's really nice. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I should have brought a scarf. I completely forgot about it. Okay. Hmm. You think so? You'd like to leave here? Hmm. 